Whoa, it is a hot one today. I am up here on 20 acres and I was here last year putting in a log and that log, it was a monster swarm, but the bees absconded and the property owner told me that his neighbor had big, a big burn pile and he thinks that the smoke overwhelmed the, the log and the bees buggered off. He was undeterred though. He was on a mission. He's got five logs on the property. Four of them are filled with bees. He hasn't opened them. He hasn't treated them. He hasn't fed them. And they're doing fantastic. And he's got creative with the different styles of logs and different entrances. He's turning it into a bit of an art form, actually. So he's, he's completely embraced this concept, the swarm habitat concept. And I don't even think he's even spent a penny on on honeybees they've, they've all been swarms now come on that's a huge plus right um and then for next year um or i think this year he's going to put up another five logs and um i think he's going to set around about five sorry ten logs will be all he's going to be doing for the 20 acre uh property now, the beautiful thing about this is that these log hives are actually habitat for native pollinators. Well, it's actually, there's two things. Um, it's habitat for native pollinators because all these micro holes and cracks in the logs, the, uh, the native pollinators use, and you'll see them next spring emerging. It's a beautiful thing to see, actually. This log comes alive first with mason bees or whatever, sweat bee, I don't even know. I'm not very good with the native pollinator names. But what I do know is that when the sun comes out in the spring and hits the logs, boom, these pollinators emerge. So that's one thing. <clears throat> but the other thing is, well, not only was the property owner um, motivated to put these logs in and have a hands-off approach to having bees, now he is putting in all of these plants. Now, his mindset, I think, was for the honeybees. But now he's realized it's not just for the honeybees, it's for the native pollinators too. But the start of all of this was log beehives. And for all of his efforts, he's got his nice little reward here, this Langstroth box that'll give him and his family a little bit of honey and then you'll start the process all over again for next year well god willing i'll be able to come back here next year and uh see how much it's changed with more habitat feeding habitat and more logs <laughs> uh, i hope this motivates other people to get into log hives I really do you won't regret it like I keep saying well thank you for watching and thank you if you are a Patreon supporter um, I do all of this for free if you are, have an interest in supporting what I do um, head over to Patreon and uh, become part of the growing team of people who are developing swarm habitat with me thank you guys cheers and on to the next one